Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot. And we're just gonna jump in and see what's going on here with um, you today, Virgo. Okay, what are you up to? All right, so um, yeah, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, the North Nose. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. you're starting to lose hope and faith in a situation here and things are getting a little shaky here Virgo so you're uh you're trying to plan or you just don't really care much to really plan or create and figure out what it is you need to do about something or someone here I don't know okay it's making you feel a bit uncomfortable like you're stuck and bored in the situation settled you don't know what to do not so great but then also you know that you're not really that stuck and restricted you can, you know, say something or do something about the situation. Okay. Mm, it looks like that. Mm, you're not feeling too happy or passionate. You might be irritated. Uh, you may be having to play some games, you know, like play like, uh, you know, towards someone or something here to get your way uh at home possibly here or you're just kind of like you know you just don't want to do anything and you don't have to you're like whatever like things are still stable for you at home whatever it is here or you're losing passion for someone or something you're not really wanting to do much about whatever it is right okay it looks like here that you're not working or just don't want to work at all on yourself or like literally get a job or figure things out here for yourself and that is making you feel defensive and guarded but at the same time you know what you're doing what you need to do but you're not doing certain things you have to do Okay, looks like you're choosing to not move on and move forward and, you know, go on a different journey and path for yourself. It makes you feel like you're in your strength in the situation at this time. Okay, you feel really abundant and happy about the situation and loving and nurturing, especially if you're in a marriage or relationship. Um, you know, wanting to be with someone or committing to someone, close friends, or just your own path and commitments with your own personal things, possibly even a, you know, career path here. Maybe even kids and all that for some of you here. Looks like here you're just, yeah, and, uh, you know, it looks like that's where, you know, <clears throat> you're happy, you're excited about something to say something or do something. Someone said something or, you know, you're active to go seek something or someone. And then all of a sudden, Virgo, now you're like really defensive and guarded. Something happened where you're just like, uh-uh, and now you're, you know, kind of playing the victim. But like, you know what you did or said or something here. I don't know what happened there. It's like all of a sudden you don't want to really kind of get up and do something or say something. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Mm, well, it looks like here, regardless that you know deep down the truth of the situation, and so you stay committed to something or someone on your path and journey, you could be going for, you know, to get guidance and information and figure out what you've got to do. That's what helps you actually start to become a bit more balanced and focused with whatever it is you, that you are doing in life here, what you are trying to figure out. Okay. So it looks like here it's what you realize is you're not going to walk away from people, places, and things that already make you feel not the greatest because you're kind of using them or that as a financial, physical, energetic, emotional crutch of some sort. And then at the same time, it makes sense because it leads right into either a few things here, either your own addictions, drinking, smoking, you're not going to stop, or you're not going to, you know, stop being an unfaithful friend or hang out with unfaithful friendships and connections or continue, you know, you're not going to, you're just going to keep partying. You're going to keep sleeping around or like, you know, cheating on your person or getting involved, whatever it is here. It's like there's something here that's not too 
you know, or trying to force uh, reunions and, you know, events and things to have happen, whatever it is. At the same time, you're not even feeling too great or happy about the situation. It's not so fun anymore. It's not so trustworthy either. Okay. Yeah. That's where you're starting to kind of feel like you're not really having much fun anymore. It's not feeling too loving and friendly, literally. Okay. With the next card coming out, it's like, it's not it anymore. Um, and then I do see here though at the same time, but there's something here nostalgic and something fun and from the past and it feels good. And so you're doing that. That makes you feel happy and fun, whatever that is. And it looks like that's what you're, what, what and where you're willing to kind of, you know, continue to, you know, work on or build or create. Well, it looks like here you're getting exactly what you want. You feel fulfilled and happy with something or someone in the situation. And now you're able to say something really quickly and go run off and rush off and do something. You're a lot more aware about something, you know, or saying something to someone possibly here. Okay, and then right after that, something happens and maybe it's because you're dealing with someone I don't know, but now you're, maybe it's just full-blown manipulation and strategic kind of energy or you're just really cold and cut off and pissed off and like something just happened it's like now you know what i mean it's like something doesn't feel too good or it's not making sense something's frustrating or irritating and then that's where you're not really wanting to kind of figure something out or like put in the effort to create something have your own creations ideas do your own things you know kind of see what you can do in a sense with whatever's happening here um and that's where you know now you're like not really wanting to feel you know, something is toxic that you're involved in or with whom you are involved with. It's like you're not really wanting to choose, be committed or make a choice to be faithful or committed to something or someone of a path anyway. But it looks like here at the same time, that's part of your plan or secret plan. You're thinking of something here, which is to just kind of go off on your own and do your own thing, your own journey and chapter. Maybe that's what you're doing already. I don't know. Yeah, that's where you have a lot of passion for. And that's where you're willing to be independent and you're very secure and stable and set and focused and you're just doing your thing with whatever that may be. Okay. So this is where you have a huge awakening and a moment of realization and you un you're understanding something of your life or with others around you enough to know what's done with or over with. But that's when there's either, you know, just lack of passion, knowing that you just don't want to do it, like do the act, take care of the things you have to take care of, or, you know, maybe a little bit of insecurity, maybe aggression or irritation and frustration, but just not wanting to budge, right? And and do the do, do what you got to do in the situation here, Virgo, Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. Bye.